Hey everybody, it's Matt from Union Horror Movies, and welcome to my Scaricon haul. These are the items that I purchased, signed, and everything from a convention near me called Scaricon. It is in at the Turning Stone Casino in Verona, New York. For me, it's about eh, 25 minutes drive, so it's perfect. Went all three days, got my bracelet so long, which I gotta cut and put in my uh, box for safekeeping. Uh, usually at the end, I last year I did a, uh, I showed the convention. Well, this time around, I didn't record it with my phone. I recorded it with this little device. It's called a Zoom Q2HD. Usually good for recording uh, concerts and everything. So I decided I'm gonna do the, uh, the walk around with this. I already uploaded the walk around through Scaricon, so please check that out. Let me know what you think. Again, I apologize for being a little shaky because I'm trying to walk around, you know, show this and that. So it was probably bouncing. So hopefully everything out came out okay. The way I showed it, it looked fine. I did a couple test runs with it. looked good. So hopefully this little device helped out. Usually I do it with my phone, but for some reason I was having some issues with my phone. So I went with the, the Zoom. All right, guys. So we got a new shirt. Uh, I got my House Shark uh, shirt here from the SRS Cinema. They are promoting their new movie. And right now it's still, I think in it's complete. They were doing a Kickstart or Indigo or something on it. I signed up for it, cause you know me, Creature Features, Shark Films, it's me. So then he was offering uh, shirts for sale. And he was gonna send them off. So I said, hey, are you gonna be at Scaricon? Cause he's usually there. He said, yep. So I saved myself uh, 350 in shipping, just went over and said, I'll give you the 25, and I got my shirt. Very comfortable shirt. I love the way the shark looks on it. Coming right up. Yeah, house shark. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go a little bit of the collectibles. Uh, my wife bought me a couple things. Uh, she did buy me the Friday the 13th uh, ice cube tray. I thought that's pretty badass. I might take it out. I don't know yet. Still in debate because I love Friday the 13th, one of my favorite slashers. And she bought me this cool metal plate of Friday the 13th, so I can either hang it around, you know, not around my neck, because I have a fat neck. But I'll just have it hanging up, like on the wall, get a little tack or something, and it's metal, which is pretty badass. They had a lot of cool uh, stuff like that, <laughs> but of course she bought me the Friday the 13th, because that's what I love. Now there is a store in New York City and they used to have a show on the science channel called Obscura. Now the show is called Oddities. It is an antique type store that sells uh, quack medical devices, um, bugs and jars, you know, weird weird shit. Well we had a bunch of things for sale and a lot of it was pretty expensive but what I found I had to get because um, I love this stuff. They are dice, okay? These dice are bone dice. They are all different sizes and shapes and whatnot. So I kind of went with the two closest for the squares. Now these are either uh, yak bone or some kind of strong animal bone because these things are solid. You can hear that. Uh, I had to have a pair. I love dice. I love dice games. So now I can actually play with animal bone dice. They're small, but they're fucking awesome. Uh, again, he said he, he didn't even know what they were from. He says it could be a yak or a wolf or maybe a buffalo or something. But big ass animal, solid dice, bone dice. That's pretty cool. All right, now let's get to uh, the autographs. So I got movies and I've got um, art. Uh, pictures signed, and we'll go with the pictures first. I'm gonna get some frames for them. So I gotta go find the to Target tomorrow and buy frames. Uh, the first one is PJ Souls. She's awesome. Uh, I had to get this version with her on the phone with my Michael Myers with the bed sheet. Love it. Next, of course, was Tony Moran, who played uh, good old Michael Myers. <clears throat> Uh, some of it I just can't read. It says, uh, something or treat. I think it says trick or treat. 
and you put Tony Moran, Michael Myers, number one. <laughs> and I love this artwork from Halloween where the knife would turn into the pumpkin. So I didn't get the normal, like, with him on it. I wanted this version. All right. Next I got is uh, Cleve Hall, also known as the Monster Man. He had a show on the Science Sci-Fi channel. He has special arts, makeup effects, really nice guy, loves goth, loves Godzilla. He said he was shooting after Scaricon to go to Los Angeles to go see the premiere of the new Godzilla film. He was so psyched for it. Uh, he's done special effects for like uh, Terror Vision, a lot of the 80s films. Uh, there's one called the Half, I think it's Boarding House, no, Halfway House. Did a review on that one. So he's done a lot of 80s cheese, so very nice guy. And also for special effects, I uh, met uh, Cleve Hall. He pretty much know him from uh, Face Off. He's one of the judges, and he's done all types of um, special effects for different movies. Uh, the Hunger Games, uh, I forgot what horror films he's been on. But nice guy, nice to talk to. He gave me some pointers if I want to do um, special effects, <laughs> which I thought was pretty neat. All right, Robert Mukes, um, right here. Otis Jr., tall ass guy. I mean, this guy was fucking huge. He's like six foot five, six foot six, built. Very nice guy. I actually got a couple more I'll show here because he signed some more stuff, but I had to get the um, one to frame. And of course, Sid Haig. Again, I got a bunch of him stuff signed by him. Had to buy a artwork to get signed. I love him as Captain Spaulding. He was so cheap. I bought. I have several things signed. Had to bring it to get signed. Of course, I had to buy one of his. Such a nice guy. Pretty cool. And then I got a poster of Death House. Uh, this part works okay, but I do like this one. And this is signed by uh, Genevieve Rossi. She was giving these out. So I got some stuff by her. So I'll probably frame that. All right. Talking about uh, Sid Haig. Of course, with uh, Michael Mukes there. I got my House of a Thousand Corpses DVD signed. So now I'll, just get, I'll get the Blu-ray. That one I'll watch. This one I'm going to put on the shelves and just keep up there. I've always had this DVD for quite a long time. Never bothered to upgrade. I heard the Blu-ray is fantastic, but the DVD was just perfect. It gives me some, uh, I don't know. It was just always great having the DVD. So that's all signed by them, by Sid and Mr. Mukes. And of course with Sid, the first day got there, I was number two in line because uh, his line fills up fast. And I got Spider Baby, the Arrow version signed by him. And he, was, he wasn't he was surprised. I asked him if people bring this a lot. He says yes. Since Arrow put this out, this was almost a lost film. But thanks to Arrow putting it out, a lot of people, young and old, have been getting it. So very happy to get that signed and finally pick it up. I picked it up last month just to have it for the convention. <clears throat> William Forsythe was there. And... <laughs> Uh, I decided not to do the uh, Devil's Rejects. I did the rig. Come on. The rig. I love this movie. It's cheesy. Good old creature features. I know a lot of people didn't like it. He was kind of surprised that I brought this film. He said when it first was debuted, he said it was big. I don't remember being a big film, but maybe he was just kissing it because it's his film. And that he dies. He's like the second kill or third kill in the movie. But it was kind of a shocker that, you know, big name gets killed off the bat. But fun creature feature. I love it. And of course, I had to have him sign it. It says to Matt uh, Best Brother, maybe. Uh, sometimes our handwritings are the worst thing. <laughs> also, at the convention, I brought my Arrow version of Frankenhooker. And I got uh, both Patty Mullen and... James Lorenz to sign this. It was like a great photo op. They both took a picture with me, no problem. Uh, they were shocked about the Arrow version. I go, yeah, this is the, uh, the UK, but it's region free. Great film. They were surprised that they they had like their own Blu-ray there and their own DVD to get signed. 
I had to bring the Arrow version. Love the Arrow version. Great transfer and everything. Night of the Creeps. I brought this in last year, and I got uh, Jason Lively to sign it. Well, everyone else was there, so I got my DVD signed. Again, this will probably be another one where I'll buy the Blu-ray, put this up on the shelving, because I got pretty much uh, Steve Marshall, James Lively, uh, Joe, oh, what the hell is her name? Tom Atkins is on, I, signed, I got him signed this. So I pretty much got the four main cast on my DVD. Very happy to have that signed. Great people. All of them were awesome. And I was showing that paperwork for Genevieve Rossi there. I was talking with her, and uh, she goes, yeah, I was in this movie, and then she mentioned a movie called Jackal Slasher. And I told her, I have that film. And she's like, what? So I brought it in, and of course I had her sign my Jackal Slasher DVD. And I did pick up a couple of her own films that she had, and she signs them anyway, if you buy them. So I had to have this signed by her. She goes, you're in shrooms? Oh, I cannot read handwritings. So, but it was pretty badass. So speaking of that, with her films, I even picked up, now these are like the norm, these are the bootlegs in convention halls. With the convention halls, we picked. I picked up from Genevieve as well. Uh, the Bible Belt Slasher Part 2. This also has Part 1 in it. So it has both films on one disc. So it's a big throwback to 80s uh, slashers. Why not? Love slashers. Bible Belt Slasher 1 and 2. And from her booth, I had to get this just because the title alone is funny as hell. It's a six-minute movie that she written, directed, and starred. <laughs> and that is The Attack of the Killer Chickens. Yes. Come on. Uh, looks like it's all puppetry and everything. So I'll pop this in later on, give it a quick the six-minute watch. I had to buy it for the convention. Why not? Just saying Attack of the Killer Chickens. Whatever. And for another convention, this one guy was selling his movie. Um, <clears throat> had to get it signed. Never heard of this film, but it's like a, I guess it's a horror comedy slash anthology. So I love picking up these little horror convention goodies. Uh, it's called Popcorn Bag of Terror. And I had him sign it on there. And I put, to Matt, thanks and enjoy the terror. And that is uh, Bernard T. Warrens. He was the director and everything to this film. Uh, don't know anything about it. Runs 107 minutes. So you have pretty much a serial killer who broke out of prison, goes on a killing spree. Uh, then you have a I Heart Zombie feature about a woman who is zombie and she's living with her husband. And then the family comes to visit. They don't know she's a zombie yet. Okay. And the Hat Man. It's an evil demonic spirit who is haunting a newlywed couple that just moved into their dream home. The hat man won't stop haunting them until two of them are both dead. So, of course, you have a little anthology that's three stories uh, long. So, why not? I love finding these little independent films, especially at conventions. You never know what you're going to find. Sometimes you get some great ones, and sometimes you get some, uh, I'll leave it on the shelf. <laughs> because you can't watch it anymore. So, I can't wait to give this one a watch. Popcorn bag of terror. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go with, oh yeah, one more I picked up at uh, the SRS Cinema. Since when I bought my shirt, I picked up uh, Empire State of the Dead. This was shot near me, near Albany, New York, and other areas. This is a zombie anthology, and I had one of the guys sign it here. You can almost see it. He wrote very light. He signed there. But I met uh, the director, Ron Bonk, and I think it's uh, Chad Forrester. I, no, Jonathan Strayton. So they signed the back for me. Sorry for the glare. It's kind of hard with white to show silver. So I got them, the, they signed the back. So I got the one on the front and two on the back there. Pretty cool. Love zombie films. Uh, got to support, I guess, independent films, of course. And uh, sometimes they're great. Sometimes, again... You never know. Okay. And last for normal movie is when I met Robert Mukes. He had this film. 
the backwoods. I don't know anything about it. He was telling me that this was very popular in Germany. So any of you uh, Europeaners over there who watch my show on my channel, if you've seen this, guys, let me know what you think. Or over here if you've seen it. Uh, he said it's very popular in Germany and over the overseas. And I read it, it looks like a hillbilly type film. Why not? I couldn't pass it up, and then he signed it too. He signed the uh, the disc as well. So it's all signature. Why not? If it's good, it's good. Why not? I love having that kind of shit. All right, the bootlegs. When you go to a convention, you have to buy some bootlegs. You never know what you're going to get, especially cheap. This one I picked up is called The Halloween That Almost Wasn't. This was a uh, made-for-TV uh, special from ABC Halloween Special. Um, it's got uh, Judd Hirsch, uh, Henry Gibson, and a bunch of others. So I don't know much about it, but if it's a Halloween special, I love, I love watching these things. A lot of times they don't have DVD releases or they don't have any release at all. So you either have to get them on a VHS or you get them on a bootleg. And why not get them on bootleg? It wasn't bad. So you got all this uh, cool stuff. I think it's also called Dracula Saves Halloween. I don't remember the other name for this title. But it's got Halloween music videos from the 1930s to the 1970s. <laughs> and uh, classic Halloween TV commercials too. So you got a good Halloween special. This will be fun to watch. Especially during Halloween. I uh, picked up uh, Crowhaven Farm. This looked really interesting. Looks like it takes place back with the, uh, oh, 19, I don't know, 1800s, 1900s. But during, like, you know, Massachusetts, during the whole uh, witch burning, witch trials. Again, I think you can get this on VHS, but you can't get it anywhere on, uh, unless you get it on a bootleg. So, picked it up, why not? Since I bought the Blu-ray of Godzilla 84, Godzilla's Revenge, um, I had to get the Americanized version of Godzilla 1985. Again, this one has Raymond Burr in it. This is the one that's all changed and altered, so it was fit for the United States. As a Godzilla collector, if you have one, you have to have both, just because you have them both now. Now, Godzilla 85 itself does not only had a VHS. Never had a DVD or anything like that. Uh, so the 85 version was made for TV. That was cut. Uh, Re-edited. They added Raymond Burr. And they added some comedy stuff to this film. But again, I have the 84 version on the Blu-ray that... Uh, who was it put it out? Kraken releasing, which did an awesome job. So I said, you know what? I had to get the, uh, the 85 just to have them both. Why not? And last for the bootlegs is a TV made-for-TV movie from 1975. Just reading it sounded pretty cool. And that is uh, Satan's Triangle. Love the, the artwork on this bootleg. The whole ship getting sucked through a uh, whirlpool. Just reading the information on this film sounds badass. If anybody's seen uh, Satan's Triangle, let me know because... Just reading it sounded bad. I love the the way it sounded, and um, sounds like more of a like a Bermuda Triangle type film. Who knows? But yeah, made for TV, nineteen seventy five. Again, a lot of made for TV stuff you can't get unless a company gets the releases and puts it out. All right, guys, this is my haul for Scaricon from two thousand sixteen. This weekend, had a ball, great time, met a lot of cool people. Um, Met some local people here that knew me from from my channel, which was awesome. Loved it. So you guys, you're watching it. Thank you very much. You guys keep on rocking. And please, everyone, like, subscribe. Put your comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts on my haul from the convention. And if you've never gone to a horror convention and you're thinking about doing it, do it. It is so much fun. Don't think other people will judge you. Guess what? Everyone who's there is loving this shit. They're going to wear your horror shirts, um, they're in costume, partial costume, uh, just wearing maybe like a like a crossbow from Walking Dead or like a hockey mask or a Freddy glove or whatever. I saw kids like in the maybe seven or eight 
One was dressed up as Sam from uh, Trick or Treat. Another one was from Michael Myers. So yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching, and uh, have yourself a good one. If you go to a con, definitely go to one. Peace.